Hey guys, so welcome back, console here today doing some more Minecraft Purge SMP. Today we are going to be working on building the shop, um, among other things. Uh, great time for my phone to go off there. Uh, so I have filled up the chest with invisibility potions, as you guys can see. We already had the night vision potions done. Uh, nothing else has anything, unfortunately. Um, but I did start up a little bit of a sugar, uh, sugar cane farm up uh, off the surface. Um, by where my chests, or not chests, but by where the outdoors part of my house is, or, I'm, I'm really bad at talking, uh, I don't have a house yet, but my area, we'll just say it that way, um, and, so yeah, uh, I really want to work on building today, um, and then I think we'll get stocked up on the shop, uh, we'll actually, like, continue making potions and stuff, uh, on the next episode, but yeah, like, today, like I said, today I want to work on building, um, I also want to get some more water bottles while I'm at it because, uh, there's, these each have water bottles in them, but none of these chests have any water bottles left, so let's see if we can, is this done smelting? Nope. Uh, but I want to fill up some water bottles, we'll do that a little bit later. Um, but yeah, for now, uh, I want to work on building the shop. The first thing, though, is something that I just think will be helpful and want to do before we do anything else. Uh, I want to go get a mule from the horse spawn, uh, just to be kind of a helping hand when it comes to transporting all these potions. Because uh, I believe the mule can fit exactly this many things, and then my inventory, the top part of it at least, can fit that many as well. So I can take two full single chests uh, at a time, and, and I think that's definitely worth it. So we're going to grab the saddle here. Uh, here it is, and I'm going to go to the horse spawn and see you guys there. Okay guys, so we are back. It has been quite a struggle. The first time I didn't realize that donkeys uh, couldn't carry uh, chests and so I was like, I, I tamed one and I was like, okay, we're, we're going this guy. And uh, I didn't realize they couldn't carry chests so that kind of screwed me over. Um, the second time I finally got golden carrots to try and breed a mule um, and then I gave one to a horse I didn't have tamed. Oh god. Um, so now, now we're here. And we are finally going to be taming this this horse and then uh, breeding the mule and the horse. The mule and the horse. All right. Uh, there's lots of mobs about here, but hopefully we can we can make this work. Come on, dude. How hard is it to get tamed, bro? Oh, my God. All right, finally. So we'll just do this really quick so we can take you over here. He's pretty fast, actually. All right, let's do this. Let's give you that. Wait, boom. There you go. And then boom. Oh yeah. No, wait. Don't don't look, guys. Don't look. Oh my God. It's a little baby mule. Okay, guys. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna let the uh, the mule grow up to his his full age. And in the meantime, I am gonna go mine some sand uh, or gather some sand, I guess. Uh, there's a giant beach over here. We'll do it over here. Um, and uh, because that's because uh, glass is going to be a big component in the shop I'm working on. Or that I'm going to be working on. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to um, mine some sand and uh, get some glass smelted. General, get general materials set up. Head over there and see you guys then. Well, that is unfortunate. Uh, my horse suffocated in air. Or not air, but one of these, one of those tall flowers over there. You know how there's like the tall two block ones? My horse walked through it and suffocated in it somehow. And he's dead. So, that's something we gotta work on. Damn it, that really makes me angry. Um, okay, well, uh, okay, well. So what we have, guys, is we have some white stained glass, some quartz, and we also have some stone or whoa okay wow free chicken uh, can't complain about that um so yeah we have some blocks to build here um basically since my shop is does not really have an outdoors part i can kind of just make it a box um that's kind of the luxury of having it not have anything outdoors. 
uh, or, or uh, no outside visibility. Um, so I have enough here to get the majority of it done, I think. Um, let's see here. Oh, someone extended this a little bit. Uh, okay, so let's get rid of these for now. We will place them back, especially because they're not mine. <laughs> And, uh, anyways, I'm gonna get to work on the shop. I need to think of an idea first, hollow out some space, and then I'll get to work. Okay, guys, so what I'm gonna do here is, I'm not quite done yet, but I wanna show you guys this. I'm gonna go ahead and make these pillars here. I, I don't know. I think that that's a cool, uh, kind of an idea to, to make it look a little better. Uh, I have two left over. My bad, but, um, that's what I'm gonna do. So, let me just show you what I have so far. Let's mine the dirt, because I don't really... Oh, that's lag. Okay. I don't really want to, uh, I don't have a silk touch pick, so it's a little bit out of my way to try and, uh, you know. Wait, there we go. There we go. We'll do this. This is, this is the best way to do this, guys. Totally efficient. Um, I need to replace all this layer here with, uh, smooth stone again so that you don't see quartz from, like, if you look up from down there. But this is what I have so far. Um, I have a glass wall. I'm gonna put some doors here. I know that there's gonna be like a little gap of air in between the door and the glass, but I don't really care. Um, I have this glass wall that kind of looks out on the uh, spawn a little bit from here and a little bit through there as well. Um, and I think that looks cool. Uh, I'm gonna have a little bit of a roof, uh, not too much overdoing it. Uh, and I'm trying to figure out what the floor should be. I don't want it to be this block, and I don't want it to be this block. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. It could be kind of a cool idea to do it glass, like the actual block kind, because you know you can. That way you can like see down on everything down there. I think that I think that would be a really cool idea. I just kind of made my mind up right there. So I'm gonna go back to my house, get some unpaint, because I have a ton of glass here. Um, but I, I'm gonna try and get some unpainted glass, and uh, and do that. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So I did this. It kind of hurts my eyes, to be totally honest. Okay, what I need to do now um, is I went a little too far down. Hang on, jump back across, and then we'll go over here. So what I need to do now is I need to take out this stuff so that you can actually see through the floor. Um, that's kind of the whole point of the glass. I want you guys to be. Yeah, I want people in my shop to be able to uh, like see all the way to the ground. You know, okay, see like that all the way to the ground. Dude, feather falling is like my bay. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love feather falling. Uh, let's go over here. Is this Harry? Harrox Crafter. See, he has felt. Nope, he does not have feather falling. He just <laughs> water bucketed. Okay, let's uh, do this. Okay, just gotta get rid of all this uh, stone that is here so that we can have an awesome view of the ground from here. Okay. Cool, cool. Doing this on camera because it is just doesn't take too long and I want to so I'm going to um, All right, that should be good. We want to oh Well, then rude uh, Okay, let's let's try that again. <laughs> oh That skeleton dude. I could have died from that if I didn't have feather falling dude. Okay um, sorry for doing this on camera if you guys don't like to see this kind of stuff. Uh, plot reserve for trying to hex. Did not know that. Um, alright, so. By the way, it looks like the jump boost gives us one and a half block jump. Uh, I don't think I'm hacking by being able to do that. Um, I guess we'll take this down one more level here, like so. And that should be good. Um, let's get rid of this. Yeah, looks good to me. I think that's pretty cool. Let's let's go back into the building here, and we'll see. I definitely like that. Yep, yep. That's that's how it's gonna stay. Um, I'm thinking it could be a possibility to get some quartz pillars coming down. Hmm. No, probably not. Maybe, maybe. We'll see how that would look. I'll 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 I'll, I'll, I'll play around with some stuff and see how it looks, and be right back with you guys. Okay guys, so I have grown up our mule here. He is ready to go. We just have to tame him and uh, then we will be ready to be on our way. Um, let me just quickly make a little way out for him here. All right, we are ready to tame him, then we'll be on our way. And um, we can start transporting stuff, uh, but what I need to do before that is, hang on here. There we go. Perfect, we got it. 
I still don't know how to put a chest on it, but we'll figure it out soon enough. Um, okay, guys, so we finally have our mule all grown up here. Pretty solid speed for a, a mule. Uh, we have the chests moving along on the side there. Uh, we can begin to transport stuff now, but what I need to do first before we get to that... Uh, let's get you across here. What I need to do first before we can get to that is I actually need to make enough chests to be able to fully stock up the shop uh, back at spawn. Um, and as you guys know, my horse died tragically. Uh, so that always sucks. We need to uh, get another horse at some point, but this guy will do for now. Very laggy, actually. Um, I need 28 logs to be able to supply the amount of chests that I need. Um, and then I also need some extra extra wood for for some signs. So I'll leave you there. We're not. I mean, we're gonna go put the chests at spawn. Oh my god, I can't do this in F5. But we are not going to be filling them yet. I need to. I'm, I'm not gonna um, let it get stocked up until it is fully. Um, until like I'm ready to stock up everything all at once. Uh, so I'm probably gonna get like a half stack of logs here, something along those lines, and then I will uh, go back to spawn. Alrighty guys, so this is gonna be the end of the episode here. I wanna show you guys what I have done. I, think it's, I don't really even remember what the last clip I filmed was, so let's see. Uh, this is the payment chest. Um, I'm probably gonna re redo that because it's not exactly an ideal position. Um, but yeah, so this is, I just wanna show you guys before we went in though. This is the outdoor, how do I, what's the best way to do this? I'm just trying to think. Um, I'll do it like this, throw those out because I don't need them. Alright, so like this is the outdoor look of the thing. You can kind of see it from down at spawn. Um, not fully, but you can kind of see it from down there. Um, I like the outdoor look. I think it looks really, really nice, really appealing from, from, from outside. And then let's go inside, so... Blah, blah, blah. I'm just some guy, you know, coming through. Oh, look at this. This is Garrett's Potion Shop this way. I was going to use this guy in my shop, but I didn't find a way, so now he's here. I'm <laughs> uh, probably going to use it for something else. I don't know. Um, so let's go up here. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, wow, wow. This is such a cool potion shop. Oh, my gosh. Um, it's kind of... I added a little roof thing, and as you guys can see from the outside, there was also a roof out there. Um, it kind of goes all the way around. There's a thing... Garrett's Potion Shop, and then I have the status there. I think that's really important for other people to have, too. I think I really like that idea. I used birch doors here, and I changed the panes to blocks around. Um, I think that looks a little better. Um, I have a bunch of chests with nothing on them because I haven't decided where what goes where and what the prices are and everything, so I figured I may as well not try and do that until I know the prices. Uh, I actually need to... Here, I'm just going to do this right now. I was going to do this anyway. Um, but I didn't get around to it, or I guess I just forgot. So we'll just do it right now. Change this little bit to that so you don't see the payment chest. Um, so yeah, and then you walk in, and you're here, and you pick out whatever potion you want. You find the price. This is the payment area, and then there's some carpet there, and there's a guy that's like the cashier, I guess. I don't really know. Um, again, as with almost all SMPs, it's kind of on the honor system that you, you, you do what you're supposed to uh, pay what you're supposed to pay, but uh, of course if you don't you're probably not gonna get caught um, And that will be in the payment just by the time I go over there because apparently I can't place a block there um, But yeah, so that's that um, that's the potion shop for now. It's basically completely done in the interior um, I like it. I, I think I like it a lot. I, I like the glass floor being able to see down um, to the rest of the shops but yeah, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching. This was a very, very long episode, very hard episode to film. Um, I just had so many trips back and forth to my house. Um, but if you did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like. Um, and I will see you guys all again next time. Bye-bye.